¿Por las cámaras? ¿Por un sonido? Sí, señor. Voy a hacer clap. ¿Alguien ahí? Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Oh, jeez. Here we go. I know you can't understand me, but put down the stapler or I will electrocute you. Did you just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my god, you can understand me. Stop. I've been so lonely. Bueno, estamos aquí con Justice Smith, el protagonista de la nueva película que ha sacado, por favor, Pokémon el detective Pikachu. Justice, how are you? It's so nice I'm to so meet you. I'm so good. It's so nice to meet you too. Well, thank you. Welcome to Peru. What do you think about it? I love it so far. I mean, I've just I like a couple hours hours ago landed, so I haven't gotten to explore yet, but so far it's I feel very welcomed. I saw and that you got a little guitar in your room. Yeah, I got a uh, car carango. Charango. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's such I a know. great gift. Yeah, I know. Um, and I also got a to torito de pu puca. <laughs> yeah, I saw your Insta stories. Yeah. I'm, I'm following you. Justin. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I saw the movie. Let me tell you, congratulations. It was amazing. Thank it was you. more than I even imagined. I um, have a son, and he's five years old. And he's a big fan of Pikachu, so I was like, I got to see this, what's going on. Yeah. And I got to congratulate you because it must be super hard talking about something that's not really there, these CGI characters. How do you deal with that? Yeah, I mean, I had some practice with that doing Jurassic World. Jurassic I worked, World. Yeah, I worked with CGI characters then. But that was a little different because all I had to do was run away screaming. Mm -hmm. And in this, yeah. I actually had to interact and respond exactly. in real time. Um, but Rob Letterman, our director, made me feel really comfortable, made sure that I knew where he was in the room at all times. Exactly. Uh, and so we just made it work. We just wanted it to look as realistic as we could. Yeah, because you have scenes where you're like having coffee with Pikachu and it's like, you're like really, really close. So it's really hard yeah. not to actually look at him in the eyes, right? Yeah, we would have like a tennis ball that just so my eyes would converge uh, at the okay. right place. Um, or, or sometimes so we would have nothing. Tricks. Yeah, those are the <laughs> tricks, yeah. Or we'd have puppets or okay. all kinds of or tape or whatever it was, but a lot of miming. It, just in general, there was a lot of miming that, that went into the film. How long did it take to film this? Uh, four months. Oh, four months? Four months wow. in London. There was yeah. a lot of action. A lot You're of action. action movies. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought my career would take me here, but here I am. So, well, you're yeah. the next big thing, Justice. Oh, that's um, so nice. Um, so I want to ask you, what was the first thing, like your first thought when you saw that you were going to be the lead role in Pikachu? I freaked out. I was such a huge fan of Pokemon growing up, and I remember I was in New York at the time in a cafe by myself. Okay. I got the call, and I... That's random, you yeah. by yourself. Yeah, I was just having a nice okay. small breakfast or something and got the call and I was just like, oh my gosh, but I couldn't react because I was by myself. So <laughs> oh my I God. packed up all my no. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> And then I ran out onto the streets of New York. It was just like jumping up and down for This joy. is like a movie scene. Yeah, it, it really <laughs> was, but I felt like I, I had permission to be crazy and express myself loudly yeah, because exactly. it's New York. Yeah, no, who's <laughs> Everyone not loud does, there? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Oh my God, well, that must be like the best feeling ever because you're living the dream for people who have been Pokemon fans forever, you know? Yeah, I mean, the closest thing too, I mean, we all we all wanted a Pokemon partner as kids, exactly. you know? We all wanted to see them, uh, what what they would look like if they really existed. If they were real. Yeah, yeah. And, and here I am doing it, like the closest thing to it. Right, and, and talking about that, did you ever imagine in your wildest dream that you were going to actually have uh, Pikachu as your partner, as no. a friend? No, no, I mean, um, I mean, I never thought that I would even be in a movie uh, like this, of this caliber, especially in a role like this. Um, but it, it's awesome because it, it did just have such an impact on me as a kid. And, and then it's just like full circle, you know? It's cool to be able to mix my job with my childhood. Exactly, that's what I was that's gonna like say. That's like the dream come true. That's what everybody's, I, I think, is striving for, you know? Yeah, and I saw some interviews where you were happy about it too because you got to feel like a child again, you know? Yeah. Especially because of the CGI characters, you had to imagine. Imagine and pretend and play pretend. And people and forget about that nowadays. Yeah, I mean, but also the nature of my job is to kind of tap into that childlike mentality, that sense of play at all mm -hmm. times. But this was kind of like that times 10 because it was something from my childhood. It was working with imaginary characters. So it was yeah. just like the ultimate playground. Exactly, exactly. So what was, um, what did you, did you know Ryan Reynolds was going to be Pikachu's voice or was that like an ultra surprise? No, I did know. Well, I mean, it was a surprise when I found out, but, but uh, I found out early, pretty early on, before, way before we started shooting. Um, but I just thought there was nobody else who would be more perfect for the part because 
uh, his humor really drives the film. We all know him for his quick wit, um, and it gives it that extra edge that I feel like uh, the fans want to see. Um, the fans of him and the fans of Pokemon. Exactly. Well, it was really nice seeing Ryan Reynolds in the movie too, but um, I have a question. What was the hardest thing about filming uh, Detective Pikachu? Um, working with characters that aren't always there is, is difficult. Uh, the stunts were difficult, but... How but, was that? <laughs> <laughs> they were intense. Um, because I was working every day, I didn't get a lot of like stunt training, so when the stunts would come, I would... What? Just, like, you didn't get to train the for the stunts? Oh, no, oh, no. Oh I mean, a little bit in the beginning, but I, again, I was too busy. I was in every scene, and so... I, I just had to kind of like go with it, and uh, but it was fun, you know. It's like, they're, they're, it's challenging, but when you're strapped in a harness and you're flying through the air, it, you're just like, yeah. this is the coolest thing <laughs> this ever. This is so much fun. Like yeah. you would never do that on a regular basis. Exactly. Um, anything that you want to tell like your fans? Any like cool thing that happened? Any cool story during the during filming Detective Pikachu? Um, that's a really good question. <laughs> I mean, just everything was so much fun. It was a blast. We had a lot of. Uh, good times on set. I know that, like, uh, again, doing the stunts, there was, because Catherine Newton, who's, who plays Lucy in the movie, is a really good friend of mine now, and she got actually did get a lot of training because uh, while I was working, she was training for the stunts, and so she ended up being a lot stronger than yeah, me. Yeah, she got to train. Yeah, and then we ended up, we had to do this stunt where we fall onto a tree, and uh, like a horizontal tree, and we like pull ourselves up onto the tree, and <laughs> every take, I was just hanging. I couldn't pull myself <laughs> up. I had like no upper body strength. Um, and and then and then one time that I actually did it, we died laughing because I finally got it. And so, but then so the take was ruined, and I had to do it again. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of like scenarios like that of her just being way better at the stunts than I was. So I bet you get asked this a lot. But what's your favorite Pokemon and why? My favorite Pokemon is Totodile from Generation Two. Okay. Uh, he's one of the starter Pokemon in Pokemon Gold, which was one of the one of the first games I got for. Game Boy Color, and uh, yeah, and I had a figure, figurine of him growing up. He's a water type Pokemon, which is one of my favorite types. He's b blue, which is my favorite color. Uh, <laughs> he's just always been my guy, you know? You know, I really like this movie because I think it's um, for every generation, like kids, parents. Yeah. I was going, I didn't know what I was going to actually see, but I thought the movie was great, and I want to congratulate you again because you did a great job. Thank um, you. Uh, anything you want to tell to your new Peruvian fans? Actually, they've been following you from the get-go. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for following me <laughs> since then. Um, if you're a Pokemon fan, this movie is for you. And if you're not a Pokemon fan, this movie is also for you. There is an amazing story at the center of this film that is relatable and human and hilarious. And I hope you guys like the film.